Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand routing loops problem in distance vector routing. The concept of distance vector routing has already been explained in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here because the understanding. So this concept, we are going to explain it under the assumption that you have already watched our previous videos on distance vector routing. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now coming to this class what is routing loops this is the problem that we are going to come across uh, in distance vector routing so the main issue of the distance vector routing protocols is the routing loops since bellman ford algorithm cannot prevent loops the distance vector routing is based upon the bellman ford the algorithm of bellman ford has already been explained in our algorithm scores uh, so uh, if you want more knowledge on uh, bellman ford algorithm you can go there and watch that video and come back here okay and uh, such uh, routing loops usually occur so how, why this route uh, routing loops occurs is uh, usually occurs when two routers send the update together at the same time or when an interface goes down so whenever the interface goes down if there is a breakage in the link between the routers so that is what we call it as breaking down of the interface so if any such uh, interfaces goes down or or if two routers send the update uh, routing distance vector routing table is shared among the two routers at the same time so then this kind of problem the problem of routing group is going to occur so let's try to discuss what is this how this routing group is going to occur uh, by using this example though so this is a, a simple example so this is one of the possibility so there is a possibility to occur routing algorithm uh, routing loops and the routing loops uh, uh, this is one of the possibility which may cause uh, uh, the concept of uh, uh, the problem of routing loops so here we are having uh, uh, four routers and these routers a b c are connected and d is also there in the entire routing uh, uh, network but it is not connected at this point of time so now what happens is what is the knowledge that the uh, ABC is going to have so the knowledge every as we have discussed that every router will know uh, the existence of all the routers whether it is connected or not uh, but uh, uh, that is immaterial but every router will know that it is uh, there is an existence the existence of router D is there in this network now now with this with the knowledge of D is uh, uh, is d directly connected to a no if it is not directly connected to a then what kind of information it is going to store in the routing table and i am going to consider only the row which is concerned about router d as we are discussing only about this router d the 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 journey of packets from each router to d each router to d a to d b to d c to d so for that we need uh, we need only one row that row is destination is d and the distance this is the distance and this is the next hop okay so this routing table has been discussed in our uh, uh, previous video okay so now now a cannot is not directly connected to d so the distance is going to be infinite and the next hop is unknown similarly this is also not directly connected so this is going to happen and this is also not directly connected so d infinite and uh, uh, unknown uh, the next hop is unknown now what happened is what happened is and so what are the distances the distances are infinite so at this point of time at this point of time the distance distances are infinite now the d got connected d got connected to c so who is the first router which is going to know about the existence of d c is the first router it is going to get the information that and assume that the it is at a distance of one now the c will know that d got connected so the uh, the routing table will get updated and with what it will get updated the data is here it is going to store one and the next hop is d so this is how the routing table is getting updated so what are the distances it is one and uh, now after that so uh, uh, so at that point of time the distances at a and b are infinite only okay so now 
okay so it will be okay now now uh, the exchange of distance vectors will happen so the now uh, the, the exchange of distance vectors has happened so in the process so after exchanging the details now the distance vector routing uh, the distance vectors of the uh, routing table will get updated so how they will get updated now what the c is stating that in order to reach d it is it has sent this value right d1 d this value these ones so, uh, these these values are updated right d1 d so this one will get transmitted to this uh, router and this infinite will get transmitted to this router and uh, so all that uh, distance vectors are uh, transferred among them so uh, immediately connected routers so now now so this states that uh, you can reach so now with the distance vector that is transmitted to by the c to b so now the b can understand that i can reach d I can reach D through C at a distance of 1 but I am at a distance of 1 away I am a, a 1 uh, I am at a distance of 1 away from C so what is the update that it is going to do it is going to consider it as 2 and uh, here it will remain 1 and here also so now what will what the A will understand that so uh, at this point of time so in this exchange it will remain infinite because the data that is being transmitted is infinite infinite 1 now based upon these values these values are getting updated so you should have that visualization so without understanding about the distance vector router that we have discussed in our previous videos you may get confused we are discussing only this row only this row okay now this row has been updated and it is 2 and the next hop is c the next hop is c okay so now uh, again the, the exchange will happen again this exchange will happen so these exchanges will happen periodically we have discussed okay so at a, 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 a every periodical amount of time the exchanges will happen again the routing table will get updated okay so now with this knowledge uh, this is these, these two values are going to remain the same because the values has not been changed so uh, they will remain the same the minimum distance is one for this router and the minimum distance is two for this router okay so now this value will get updated previously it has the knowledge that the distance is infinite now the distance is two with a distance of two uh, when compared with infinite so it, it has to get updated and it is one unit distance apart from B one unit distance apart from B so a can reach D a can reach D with a distance of 2 if the packet is transmitted to B so in order to transmit the packet from A to B it is at a distance of 1 so 2 plus 1 3 so 3 here 2 will be here and 1 will be here so now the things are stable so far we don't have any problem so if if the things remains the same if this entire network remains the same everything is fine everything is fine so the packets will get transmitted successfully from source to destination now this one got updated so what this update is it is 3 and the next hop is b next hop is b so i am writing these values so that uh, you you will get uh, you will have that visualization of route table okay so now now what happened is this link has been disconnected so due to some external reasons this link has been disconnected now the problem starts now what happens is now what happens is immediately the C will know that uh, the link has been there is no disconnect uh, there is no connectivity between uh, the source between c and d so it will update its value to infinite infinite so this value will get infinite and again this will get updated to hyphen and here these values will remain the same right so they, they don't know about the uh, uh, breakage of the link between c and d so these values will remain the same now now uh, after a specific period of time again the uh, routing table data will get updated routing ta uh, tables uh, uh, distance vectors will get transferred will get shared to the immediate nodes now what happens now the update has to be done right okay so now what happens is so as the sharing is done between them 
so now what the c will know that so this is where the point that you have to understand this point what we are going to discuss now this point is very important point that itself states the disadvantage of distance vector routing algorithm okay so uh, here here the transfer is done transfer is done the sharing is done so now uh, with the sharing of 2 to c 2 to c uh, what the c will understand that the C will understand that okay I can reach D I can reach D at a distance of 2 at a, at a distance of 2 if I transfer my packet to C so what is the distance between sorry if I transfer my packet to B okay I can so what the C is estimating with this 2 is what the C is estimating with this 2 is I can reach D I can reach D with a uh, uh, with a distance of 2 with a distance of 2 if i transfer the packet to b if i transfer the packet to b so uh, what is the distance it is 1 so what it will do is it will update its distance to 3 it will update its distance to 3 but the point that we have to that we miss is the next hop for b is c in the entire routing table what are the values that we are going to pass in the distance vector routing it is the distances not the next hop values so as the next hop is so in order for the packet to transfer from b to d the b has to transmit only through c that that point has been missed by b so now b is thinking that now b is thinking that i can transmit the data through c okay it has that knowledge now c is thinking that i can transmit the data through b through b uh, if i uh, uh, we at a distance of 3 this has been updated but it is a mistake right okay so what happens next again the sharing is done so it is transmitting uh, three distance and this is transmitting uh, uh, infinite distance now uh, it is infinite and this is transmitting the data three here now three means here so this point is also very important so three so with that three what does b will understand that i can transmit the data to d I can transmit the data to D uh, at a distance of 3 if I transmit the data to A. So that is the knowledge that this one is getting. So even though it is smallest distance, but the updations are done based upon its neighbors. It, it does not care about its own value. It always cares about the data that has been received from the neighbors because the neighbors know any change in the topology, right? it does not know so it is going to believe the neighbors and based upon that belief based upon the data that has been transmitted by the neighbors so considering this neighbor it is going to be infinite it is going to be infinite so this has been transmitted right so it is going to be infinite but it has transmitted it as three previously it may be two but with this transfer of three what the c uh, what the b is going to understand that so i can transmit the value to uh, the packet to d at a distance of three at a distance of three if i transmit the packet to a so to transmit from b to a it is going to take an amount of distance of one so the total updation that it has to do is four three plus one four okay for packet to get transmitted from a to d it has to transmit to a and this a is is taking the responsibility to transmit it to d to transmit it to d at a distance of 3 but what they forgot is all these transmissions are done only through c that next hop values are not are not being transferred so that is the that is the disadvantage of distance vector routing algorithm because only the distance are transmitted only the distances are transmitted so there is a possibility of getting a concept of so uh, the uh, we are going to there is a possibility of getting routing loops we will check that so now the updates we will make the changes in here so here it is three it is three and uh, the next hop is next hop is b and again here it is 4 and the next hop is what is the next hop 
uh, here it is 4 and the next hop is A. A. And here it is 3. It remains 3, right? As it sends uh, uh, 2, uh, it, it, is, it remains 2. It is going to transfer to this the transfer is happened here this is next line right so the transfer is 2 and for this to transmit it is one distance so it remains uh, 3 so this remains 3 and b okay so now next for example assume that it is so what is the knowledge that we are going to get from this think of this point again slowly slowly so with these values with this wall is what is the knowledge that we are going to have is for transfer of data from c to d for transfer of data for uh, C to D, it has to transmit the data to B. And if B wants to transmit the data to D, it has to transmit the data to A. If A wants to transmit the data to D, it has to transmit the data to B. It has to transmit the data to B. See here. Here it is a loop. Here we are forming a loop here. So this is what we call it as routing loops. So the packet continuously will iterate within this loop. This is what we call it as routing loops. Okay, try to get that point here. Once again, so I'm explaining it again because this is the point that we have to understand with this update, with this update in the routing tables, what is the knowledge that we are going to get is for C to transmit the data to D, C to transmit the data to D, it has to send its packet. The next hop is B. So it is transmitting. So uh, we are not worried about distance. So it may be 3, 4. It is the responsibility of B to transmit it. Right. So it has to transmit it to B. Okay. Transferred. Now at B, at B, what it has the knowledge? The knowledge is for B to transmit the data to D, it has to transmit the packet to A. So it, it, it has been transmitted to A. Okay. Now at A, it has the knowledge that for it to transmit to D, for this router to transmit the packet to D, it has to transfer its packet to B again. Now what is the knowledge that the B has for it to transmit the packet to D? D, it is again has to transmit to B. Sorry, A again again so this is what we call it as routing loops the distance vector routing within itself it is having a disadvantage that if any such conditions occur like breakage in the breakage in the link or uh, if both the packets are transmitted at the same point of time then there is a possibility for us to get uh, routing loops these are what we call it as routing loops with this what happens it is going to iterate here for infinite amount of time so the problem that we are going to get with this routing loops is uh, count to infinity count to infinity is the problem that we are going to get with this routing loops we will try to understand about this count to infinity problem in our next class so at this point of point at this point of time you have to understand is distance vector routing is going to generate routing loops so there is a possibility if the uh, if the design this is one of the case if this is the case that is going to happen within the network so the packets are going to iterate in a loop this is what we call it as routing loops hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this problem uh, regarding this uh, Regarding this concept, please post your doubt in the uh, in the comment section below. And if you feel that this video is helpful to you, please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited. Thanks for watching.